Do the patterns of commoning constitute some form of economics? Yes, because the patterns of commoning in the triad are generative. They create wealth, but they do so through cooperative social relationships and practices, not just transactions. Economists like to think that the only significant market wealth is created through market activity. In fact, we've become so accustomed to treating everything as a commodity, the gifts of nature, creativity, our labor, life itself, that we equate value with price. The patterns of commoning help us see that value is a much richer idea. Living systems like ecosystems and commons generate huge amounts of wealth. It's just that this wealth shouldn't be treated as private property with a market price tag attached to it. Patterns of commoning explain the logic of how value is created. It's created through patterns of provisioning, peer governance, and social life in commons, which are generally a far more humane, fair, and eco-minded way of creating value than that of capitalist markets. Interesting. I'll share it. <laughs>